Hello guys. So in this video, I will give a heads up on what is LSTM. Okay. So it stands for long short term memory. It's a type of RNN, right? So I have listed here the types of RNN. Uh, one we have already seen that is simple RNN. We, I have explained it clearly in two, three parts, how RNN works, how the forward propagation works, how backward propagation works, how weights are updated and how it will learn. Okay. Then comes a type of RNN called as LSTM and this stands for long short term memory. There is an improvised version on LSTM called as GRU which stands for gated recurrent unit and the final one would be bidirectional LSTM RNN. Right. So, bidirectional in the sense it will at any given time step it will look for the context surrounding that particular time step both from the forward time step and the backward time step. Okay. So, this is also one kind of RNN. So, in the era of Gen AI large language models why I am talking about these things now. So, these things will act as a solid foundation for you guys to further leap into Gen AI and large language models. Okay. So, these things are very important to understand. So, whatever the uh, latest technologies are there, right? So, to work on that and to understand how they work, so it is important to have the basics right, right? So, these all serve as, as basics, okay? So, do not ignore this. Uh, please uh, try to learn from the bottom up, right? So, that you will have the solid knowledge and solid understanding of how the things work from the inside, okay? So, now let's come back to LSTM. So, when we have already a RNN model, we have seen, right? So, why do we need another type of RNN called as long, long short term memory, which, which is LSTM, right? So, why do we need it? So, probably I will take around uh, two, uh, two or three parts in the video in order to explain LSTM completely end to end. So, this part will just concentrate on why do we need another type of RNN called as LSTM why we cannot just go with the simple RNN model, okay? So, I will set the stage for why, right? And then I will explain in my second part maybe what LSTM is and in my third part, I will tell how it works and why it works, okay? So, it will be divided in three or four parts. Let's see how it goes, okay? So, in this part, I am setting up the stage as to know why we need LSTM. So, it's important to understand this video so that you will have the continuation for my next videos on LSTM. Okay. So please watch it till the end. So before getting on to this, if someone has developed something new on top of already existing stuff, it is important to know why it is done. Right. Before we jump on to understand what it is, we need to know why was there a need to invent this. Right. So that's what I'm setting up the stage for right now in this video. Okay. So let's get started. So let us consider a set of three sentences here. I have written it, right? So the sentence one says, the guy I met today while on walk was my classmate. So there are multiple words in between. Okay. So it's a long sentence. These, these dots are just to denote, denote that it's a long sentence. Okay. So the sentence two states that the guys I met today while on walk, some few words were my classmates. Okay. So, why I have written these two sentences? You have to understand these two things. So, when I said the guy I met, the word was was here. So, the guy I met today while on walk was my classmate. The guys I met today while on walk were my classmates, right? So, here you need to understand the subject here. So, guy and guys, right? So, this is singular and this is our plural. Right. So, there are more than one, there is more than one guy here. Right. So, if there is a singular subject, the word used was was. Right. The word used is was. When the subject is plural, in this example, the word used is were. Right. Guy was, guys were. Right. So, this, ha if these two sentences are quite long, then our simple RNN would fail to guess the correct word here. So, if we feed in the sentence starting from the guy I met today while on walk dot 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 dash my classmate and I ask it to predict the dash fill in the blanks. So, it may fail to fill it in a correct way. So, maybe in the second sentence it may fill it with was instead of were. 
so which is wrong because the subject here is i am talking about multiple guys i met while i was on walk right so these things we have to capture so this will be a problem with a simple rnn architecture so how the simple rnn architecture looks like so this is what it is right so we have already seen this when i was explaining rnn back propagation and backward propagation right so what happens so you know when we back propagate through this time steps and start to update the weights w a w x w y so we go on back propagating through multiple time steps so if the sequence happens to be long so in this type of examples we will end up calculating multiple derivatives of all these activations right so we end up multiplying those activations right dl with respect to dat and we go on multiplying dat with respect to dat minus 1 so we go on all the way till da2 by da1 so there are multiple multiplications on the gradients so these are called as gradients right so what happens we usually face something called as vanishing gradient problem in simple rnn architecture we face something called as vanishing gradients or exploding gradient issues right exploding gradients so i have explained these two in my separate video when it comes to issues with rnn so in that video i haven't taken an example like this and explained it to you i just explained we will face vanishing and exploding gradient problems right so since we face vanishing and exploding gradients problem if the sequence happens to be too long this rnn architecture the simple rnn architecture will easily forget this particular subject here right so in order to predict if the word has to be was or if the word has to be were it is compulsory for the rnn to remember about the subject whether the subject is plural or the subject is singular based on that we can fill it if it's singular we can fill it with was if it's plural we can fill it with were so this is a problem with simple rnn architecture okay so usually what happens this rnn is good at remembering something which occurred just few time steps ago it cannot remember something which has occurred long back and it can relate it to that to fill in the blank that we are asking it to right so in this case the, let's say there are 100 or 200 tokens in between this okay and by the time it reaches at this particular time step it would have forgotten about this particular subject whether it was singular or plural right so this is a major issue when it comes to modeling any language models okay so how do we address this so in order to address this we have something called as lstm lstm so this stands for long short term memory okay so as you can guess from this expanded lstm naming name so you can guess it that it holds the long memory and also short memory right so basically lstm is good at remembering the long term associations and also the short term associations so how it does so it basically has something called as memory cell associated with it memory cell right there are two cells why two cells one to remember something on the long term context okay let me just write long term context i'll write it in a short form ltc okay and the second to remember short term context context okay so the lstm is designed in a way that it will have two cells you can call it as memory cell in within which we will have two separate cells to remember long term context and short term context so short term context i'll represent it as stc and a long term context i'll represent it as ltc going forward so just remember that okay so how does this do let's see uh, i'm not going in depth but i'm just giving you a heads up okay so here if you take this particular sentence 3 it says kingdom magadh was ruled by a ruler named dhananda he had a staunch hatred towards kshatriya clan right 
Dhananda was later overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya with the help of Chanakya, who served as a chief advisor to Chandragupta and also to his son Bindusar. Right? So, this is our sentence. It's actually a long sentence, right? So, just ignore this, okay? Ignore that full stop. Otherwise, it will it will mean that we have cut that sentence. Just ignore that full stop there. So, let us consider this as a story now, okay? So, let's think I am narrating a story to you. Something on Magad kingdom, okay? So, what it states, initially, kingdom Magad, right? So, this is important. So, kingdom Magad is one subject, okay? And there was a ruler whose name was Dhananandam, right? So, these things should be remembered. So, what LSTM does? It will start remembering kingdom Magad ruled name of the ruler Dhananandam. So, it will start putting few things into long term memory and short term memory. So, it is STC and LTC, right? Then, I am saying he had a staunch hatred to a Kshatriya clan, right? Dhananandam was later overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya, right? So, what this states? Kingdom Magad, there was a ruler Dhananandam. By the time we scan this sentence till here, we know that Dhananandam was overthrown. So, we need to remove Dhananandam from long term context. I have to replace Dhananandam with Chandragupta Maurya, right? I have to replace this. So, how do I replace this? I replace this from my short term context. So, initially the short term context would also have Dhananandam and Chandragupta Maurya till we scan at this point, right? Scan till this point, Chandragupta. Then what happens? I am saying Dhananandam was later overthrown by Chandragupta. So, Dhananandam is a done deal. So, what I will do? I will replace Dhananandam from my long term context. I will replace him with Chandragupta Maurya, right? I am stating he was later overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya with the help of Chanakya. So, Chanakya is also an important subject here, right? It is the name of the person. So, I will get it here in my long term context and also in my short term context. Chanakya, right? Who served as a chief advisor to Chandragupta and to his son Bindusara. Okay. So, what happens till we scan here? So, we have totally done away with Dhananandam, right? So, this is not required till we come to the end of this sentence. So, we need to remove Dhananandam from our long term context here. What all we need? We need Chandragupta Murra who was made ruler of Magad Empire with the help of Chanakya. Later, Chanakya served as chief advisor to Chandragupta and also Bindusara, right? And I will also have the word chief advisor. So, it states the position that Chanakya held in Chandragupta Maurya and Bindusara's kingdom, right? So, this is how LSTM works. So, what it does? It creates two separate memory units, long term for one for long term context, another for short term context and it goes on replacing the words, okay, based on the sequence of inputs that it receives, okay. But how does this do all these tasks, right? So, how it does, how it achieves it? So, it achieves with the help of something called as gates. So, we have total three gates, input gate, output gate and another thing called as forget gate. Okay. So, these things will help in order to maintain our long term and short term contexts. Right. So, this if you understand why we need LSTM. Next, understanding the architecture of LSTM, how it is implemented, it will be easy. Okay. So, hope this, hope this video is clear guys. Uh, if you are liking my content, please give it a thumbs up. In my next video, I will talk about the architecture of LSTM. So, it is not as simple as RNN, a simple RNN. We will have multiple computations involved and the simple block would also does not look simple on LSTM. Okay? So, please uh, listen to my uh, explanation with full concentration. Okay? 
so that's it for this video uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe uh, so that it will help me to keep me motivated on releasing the contents like this okay so that's it uh, till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye